A word for our listeners. Masks of Nyarlathotep is set in the 1920s. We will be using terms and sayings from those times, including some that could be considered offensive. It is not our intention to offend. We merely wish to offer as accurate a view of the time period as possible. Welcome to the Nerds Domain Presents Masks of Nyarlathotep. Join us each week as our investigators follow a path of clues and attempt to save the world from an ancient evil. Starring John Quiet, Justin Kimmett, Shirley Nedzwicky, George Chimples, Jason Hall, and Scott Troiano with Matt Quiet running the table as keeper. Eldritch evils and crazed cultists await you just beyond this music. Hi everybody and welcome back to Masks of Nyarlathotep. Today, I'm joined with John. Hi. Justin. Hi. Jason. Hello. George. Word up. Shirley. Hello. And I'm Matt. Oh, well, Scott's here too. He just had his mouth full. I didn't want to say anything. <laughs> say hi, Scott. Hi, Scott. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't leave it alone. I'm sorry. Say hi, comma, Scott. Hi. You'll, you'll, and if you're more interested in what that was all about, listeners, uh, please support our Patreon. And you'll, and you'll get that. So, last time we left our adventures, our investigators, uh, they had just murdered a guy, and he turned oh, to sand. We tortured him first, though. Well, yes. Well, egregious. That happened. It wasn't egregious. Yeah. I think so, torture in general is what's, a, what's the plan? What's the next step? You guys are currently at the sanatorium. You have... Uh, tonight and tomorrow night. Uh, I was going to call the mosque and uh, basically try to form a posse. As ridiculous as this sounds, the mosque doesn't have a phone. You could send a runner, or you could go over I'll there yourself. Runner. Okay. Um, <clears throat> the you get a message back um, signed by the, uh, the teacher you got last time, yeah. not the head guy. Uh, we have had an incident. Please check the papers. If you have any questions, feel free to stop by. Okay. Well, that sounds bad. It does, um, doesn't it? Um, <clears throat> also, the impression, just to reiterate for the listeners and for my own sake, in, in discussing it, who passed their occult or whatever on that sand thing? I did. You. So your impression would be that this guy is dead. It's not that he transmuted his sand and went somewhere else, yes? That would be my understanding. So. That looked like a very was, bad case of an advanced age. And right. self sustaining. Yeah, wanted to make sure about that. So, uh, you guys checking the newspapers then? Yeah, I, I will, yeah. Well, first, I, I'll explain also to the party as I come out and dispose of the sand. But it's just going to be whatever that is. Yeah, I was just going to like come out, kind of, at this point, I've been stripped down to the waist, so my clothes don't get dirty, and just make it clear that, you know, in character. I don't do that because I enjoy it. But out of necessity. Well, you seem rather talented at it. We all do what we must to survive, and I feel that this is all about survival. I agree with you completely, sir. So, um, he probably he has some scars, probably from what knives and. Yeah, he's been stabbed a couple times. He might have been shot in the shoulder once. Yeah. So it, it's a he's a, he's got a kind of a grisly body. Um, also, your your strength is pretty high too, isn't it? Yeah, he's very. Well, he's not thick. Very tall, but he's muscular. Like I said, like Bull of Young, if you remember from like Enter the Dragon, he's kind of like a wide, okay. strong dude. Okay. Um, so you guys uh, pick up the paper, because there's one at the hospital that makes sense. Uh, it says, Tragedy at the Mosque of Tulum. Six of Ibn Tulum's most respected scholars died last night in the collapse of the ceiling of their study room. The cause of these tragic deaths is being investigated. Still missing and presumed, but presumed dead is Nisim Efti, the Nazir of Ibn Tulum. Ahmed Zahavi survived but was taken to the hospital in shock. The collapse occurred in a building adjacent to Ibn Tulum itself. The historical structure is undamaged. Do they have the ages of the gentlemen that were died? Uh, they were all very old. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I think it was the sixth guard. Yeah. Should we go to the hospital to try and help? We're at the hospital. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> The sanatorium and the hospital are the same? They're connected. Okay. Um, so you go up to talk to Zahavi? Yes. Uh, 
recommend. Uh, and if you remember, Nissim FD was the the head of the 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 like Guardian Brothers, so you know he's missing. Um, so Ahmed Zahavi is the leader of the of that. He was the guy you talked to that had all the answers, and um, he is in the hospital. He's currently unconscious. Looks like he's not doing well. Surely, would you like to pull a medicine? If I was in the room, I would. Oh, that's right. You were wandered off to go get some booze. So, <laughs> somebody going to send a run to the me? Here's our doctor. She's kind of drunk. Don't bother. <laughs> like, just don't notice. I was sipping a shot of bourbon. I wasn't downing it. Mm. Oh, God. So, I walk in, and I do what? Medical? Yeah. Sure, I'll take a 61 under 80. Um, so, from his chart, it looks like he has been placed under uh, sedation. He doesn't... He came in um, in a state of catatonia and then became very manic and hysteric and was had, had to be sedated. Do, does it say what the, he was mumbling? Uh, the things from below. They kept mumbling about things from below. Would I recognize that? Oh, no, because that would be the tree came after me. <clears throat> a cult? Yeah. Sure. A little a cult? Uh, either one. And let me know what your role. A cult made it. Alright. Made it 48 or 16. Okay, uh, who got a cult? Yep. Did anyone roll uh, Mythos? No. Okay. So, to? uh, the thing from below can be uh, uh, thousands of things. It's not specific enough, and it may or may not even be the actual name of the thing. Let's check the Necronomicon find out. Did we get any Mythos from looking at the uh, tap thing, by the way? Uh, surprisingly, John, you get one. Get one point yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, you did not. Did you have to lose sanity to it to get? You had to completely go crazy to to gain sanity from those situations. Oh, never mind that. Yeah, it's when you it's when your mind breaks a little bit that you you see the wider world. Yeah, let's not do that anymore. Yeah. Well, you only get one more each time because oh. you've already had that first bump. So, um. If, uh, Ian. Yes. Might I suggest that you make a luck roll? Because I'm not going to make you roll idea, just luck. Oh, I got it. My luck okay. is worse so you get the idea idea. that you should probably call the police and see if they have anything from the investigation. Um, you speak with Emile Babro, the Cairo police forensics expert. Uh, he found a strange substance at the scene. Uh, samples of which have been sent by military courier to labs in both Paris and Geneva. Are there any left in the, in the city? Are you you could the give district? me a persuade to try and talk to him. It, it's not here yet. This is what this is saying so far. Yes. Okay. Um, you talk your way into him letting you in there. You explain that you know you you're an investigator of some note from UI a little bit. Um, and that you have uh, someone, some people with medical knowledge with you that maybe they can help. Um, professor or doctor? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so he says, yeah, he invites the three of you down to his labs when you get a chance. Mm -hmm. um, he has something like three kilos of body tissue that you can look through. Nice. So um, I was just interested in the weird substance. That is the weird substance, is the tissue. Ah. Okay. Um, we'll look into that when we get a chance. Anything else? Um, that's it. All right, so we're off to kill Dr. Clive. Oh yes. Do you want to go check the thing while you're still in town at the lab? Because remember, it's like a half day travel down to Dr. Clive. Oh, that's good point. Might as well take a look at it. Investigate when we're here. How long would I have to work with this guy to get anything but babble out of him? Um, a couple of days at least, probably more like a week or two. Yeah. Okay. Well, crackers. <clears throat> um, since I'm at the hospital, can I go ahead and have one of the nurses patch me up? I thought you already got patched up. 
No, I healed one thing. That's it. That's, that's all you can do right, right now. You are patched. You have to wait a week before you heal again. For real? Yeah. Right, Welcome so to my world. Well, you right. spend six weeks every time you get a fight. <laughs> yeah. I well, do. in all fairness, Shirley's character never got hit in combat. Yeah, I know. Ever. She, uh, you know, she just lost all her mind. <laughs> So oh, and you, did, the, the, you come into the room, Dr. Catherine? Oh, so thank you for shooting me again. Are you going to kill this character, too? <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't kill the last one. <laughs> but I would say when you said, when you said welcome to my world, like because you, know, you welcomed her into the world by saying that, but you also <laughs> shot her like point blank with a shotgun. So you know, that's also like you're welcome to this world. So I'm gonna take you there. <laughs> well, but I was helpful. All I only do is light damage. Yes, I walked damage. into the room. Okay, because I, I was uh, reading the chart. Okay, I pull a pistol, turn it around. <laughs> you, you'll need that okay. now. And she takes it and sticks it in the belt of her skirt. No, he's offering for you to shoot in the leg. This is payback. No, uh, madam. No. As I hesitate and look from your leg to the gun to the leg to the gun, then I stick it in my belt. Um, my skirt. Madam, if you're going to stick that into your belt, please stick it in the back of your belt. As, uh, oh, I she thought said you were down the front. Oh, no. no she like, said back. The right would be a yeah. much better reaching to have a misfire. <clears throat> Fleshy, you know. Mom looks at you very strange. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, yeah, sorry, at the captain, like, has he shot himself in the butt before? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Possibly. So, um, Corporal, did you have something? For us that we would go take a look at something? Well, there were some strange substances found at the mosque that we could examine before heading out. Maybe, um, Give us a clue as to what the cults are up to. Hmm. Maybe we can expect, learn something and prepare better. I have a kit. Well, I have a kit that I would be able to um, test the yeah. substance with. So okay. I'll go grab it out of my office. Right. Okay. So you guys all six head that way. Um, I check myself with you. Oh, yeah. So you five at that way? Well, we sent a guy to get you, too. What's what's your... Yeah. yeah. Are you going to sit in the hospital? I will come. Uh, <laughs> I Have you feel them? very, very poorly. Did you receive any healing? Yeah, unfortunately. Yes, crap. Yeah. <laughs> one. He had Thank one you. Two or three is still not that great. I mm-hmm. have... How many? One hit point above being dropped. So I you're basically the captain. The oh. <laughs> I did real well. Like, I did real well on this fight. Okay, so you guys are all heading down to the lab. Yeah. Uh, might we swing past the hotel? On the way to the lab. Sure. Awesome. Do, do I have rock salt rounds? No. Okay, well then I'm gonna need to acquire some, so I want to send a runner to. Uh, You're gonna have to have those custom made. That's not something you normally would have. Yeah. Are you gonna fight some aerial ones? Something like that. Uh, yeah. well, I'll make them when I when we have yeah. some downtime. Okay, I'll make my own. So uh, you guys swing by. I assume you get some sh- a shotgun. Oh yes. Um, I'm oh, gonna pick uh, up my actual Mr. shotgun. Cooper, here's your yes. shotgun back. I thank you very much. Thank I'm you. gonna pick up a bunch of slugs. And I'm gonna change those out and sell them. Okay. Are you? What are you putting back in the shotgun, Scott? Um, I'm loading slugs at this point. Okay. Sure. Better better range. And the doctor thanks you. And apparently <laughs> I, I won't spray my compatriots with them. By the way, sorry about that. Yeah. So you guys head... Holy to- size rolls for eyes mm-hmm. and walks out the door. You head to the lab and find uh, the... Uh, what's his name? The meal. Yeah, you know, there he greets you, brings you in, takes you into uh, a room with some large, like uh, what would be freezers, but they're you know it's 1920, so it's just cold storage, cold, cold storage ice box, ice. Ice, a block, box of ice, blocks of ice. There we go. Um, he pulls out some samples, even cold, they're already deteriorating, and as soon as they pull them out, uh, Captain, can you give me a uh, one of those sanity checks there? Really? Just yeah. 
Well, really? Just me? Go ahead. I thought it might be one of these. Oh, no. No, you lose nothing. But you are visibly yeah. shaken because you realize that's the skin that was on the book. Oh, God. No! Ah! Captain? Captain? And the, yeah. the lab, the, 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 the Emil says, yeah, I, these are disturbing, I know. They're no, disturbing. no, it's... It, uh, <clears throat> but you'll... Uh, cover of the book. <clears throat> detective. <throat> detective, you'll notice they were cut here, almost like a sharp edged weapon. They were removed from whatever was there. I'm not sure quite what happened. I'm confused. It looked like a cave-in, but these... Where did these come from? I'm sorry. My, my The player is lost. The skins... Has been sliced off. Remember they had swords? Yeah. So okay. they probably, whatever these things were, got in there somehow and they were fought off, but not before they the building collapsed. Does that make sense? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, there, you remember the boat ride over and the book that was rebound by me? Right. It was originally <laughs> in, in case. Pointed stare. <laughs> well, yes. <laughs> Quite a reminder now. Um, it was originally bound that. I'm sorry, what? Emil looks over. We've, we've seen this? this skin before. We don't know more any more about it. Looking at another sample, we've just seen other examples of this thing. Did I try that? Like sure. I just walked up and like put my gloves on and yeah, and start kind of looking at it. Do yeah. I need to roll, uh, roll medicine? I missed it by four. Yeah. No. Cthulhu Mythos, man. Nope, you've already failed it. I've already failed what? Oh no, you haven't. Roll it, yeah. Oh, you never five. What? Half under. Okay. Uh, so it's a thick, pliable skin. Mm-hmm. Um, s- almost scaly, but not quite. Mm-hmm. Almost like a snake. Mm-hmm. It's strange. Mm-hmm. You've never seen anything like it because it has but hair it's in it too. Kind of amphibious. Sort of, yeah. Skin, it's, it's, but it has hair in it. Yeah. Uh, Scott. Yes. These are Chthonians. You knew that. You already knew that. Right. I told you that at the end of the last session. Oh, you did, yeah. So. I realize I know the name too. Yeah, they're Chthonians. <clears throat> which are large snake like creatures. Are you guys gonna that say burrow. this out loud? No, not, not, while, the, not while the other guys are. Mm-hmm. Oh well, then the snake. Oh, well. oh, apparently we are. I never got to see. All, I never got to look at the original skin on the book. Uh, I never saw what a snake person. He I kind of pulled it up and dangled it at you. Chthonians. 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 I'm sorry. These are okay. th- These are from In what? All of my occult research. Would I roll your uh, mythos? Do you have any? Oh, I don't have any. Oh, what is it, 99? Yeah, no, no. Mm-hmm. Okay, I thought you'd be down here. You don't have any. No, I don't want a picture. So don't show me a picture. So my occult. Yeah, your occult doesn't give you information like that. Were these the same things that were on the boat? No. No. No, these are not the same things. As on the these are more like sand ones from you. Yep. Oh, hey. Okay. Nice. Oh, that. Oh, ew. Don't stop showing me that. No. Don't stop. No, stop showing me that. No, Oxford Thomas, stop showing me that. Yes, yes, thank you. That's an adult. That's an adult. I don't know what the pages look like. Oh, no, no, no. Like okay, we're not gonna we're not gonna talk about how cute the baby is. Have you seen Turner's Four? It's kind of like a grab boy. Oh, I was thinking. No, you know what happened to the movie? Men in Black. Oh, no, you don't. You haven't seen it. They're all the All right, so. Kind of cute, but focusing. Uh. So, what are you guys doing? You know what it is. You kind of talked about it in front of the forensic guy. I told the forensic guy, this is very evil, and once we've left here, we should burn it. Or perhaps before we leave. Burn. Uh, that's kind of destroying evidence. Yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> here, perhaps this will help. And I have a guy imagine, I pull a small card, or, and I write down on it, and tent it, and set it there. It says evil. <laughs> like, oh, you can put that in its place. It's evil. You don't want anything. I really can't tamper with evidence of a police investigation. Oh, certainly. So, are these put in a drawer or something? Or yeah, are they're they? not like an icebox. Okay, so I go back to put them in the icebox. Can I roll a seal? <laughs> you can roll a seal. Okay. Oh, dear God. As the doctor slips them in for blouse. <laughs> That's gross. Oh, that is gross. Oh, crackers. I didn't get it. Yeah. Can, can I help her in trying to conceal? You could her? You could go Will over and conceal me? her. Okay, I will. <laughs> in the ice box? I will roll to assist. 
Yes, I'm in my concealed carry. Okay, so you have slipped them in your bag. Yeah, you're into working my antiquities, so sure. I'm good at concealing things. And then yeah. you kind of close the ice box and head out, I assume. Right? Yes. Very quickly after we get out of his sight. Since we're stealing everything. So, where are you guys headed now? Uh, we have to burn this stuff right out as we can as soon as we get out the door. We set on fire and throw it at the police station. <laughs> Um, as soon as we can. Yeah. I love you. Yeah, I, mean, I don't know if I said that out loud. But. Yes, Justin. Yeah, I, I will produce the evidence to have it burned. I will conceal a stone. Okay. Um, I roll a four. Okay. So you guys get outside, get down the street. <clears throat> Somebody douses it with a little gasoline. I'm sure you guys are carrying. Oh, I'm sorry. Burn douses it with a little whiskey. <laughs> Me spits on it? Yeah, <laughs> and one of you, I'm sure <laughs> most of you probably smoke anyway, so somebody does it or lights it. Disgusting. That's the 1920s, actually. It's pretty common. Even girls? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Especially girls. Smoking makes you live longer. Yeah. 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 No, yeah, no, no, in America at this point in time, it's still considered gauche for women to smoke at all. Unless they're, they're like younger than the fashion. They're cool when they smoke. Um, are you cool? I'm smart. I'm not cool. Complete side um, note is I'm your character is sketch Jack Facebook Skellington. Facebook. Oh, it's a smiley face. Okay. Go ahead. Well, anyway, so let's focus. We're gonna focus. So, what are you guys doing now? Um, well, I need to get some study of the next novel. I gotta get some doctor. Here. Don't we have to go back to the place with the book? Well, my only concern is um, Sandboy. Um, Said that Dr. Clive of the Clive expedition might be capable of completing the ritual. Oh, yes. So, Who's Dr. Clive? the guy we, the guy at the dig site that we didn't kill when we killed the fake Gavigan. Mm. The other, the other guy in charge there. We could attempt to get to beneath the pyramid first and wait for them. Well, it would be very dangerous. Well, and I had a thought. I had a thought as well on that point. Perhaps we could load out, uh, split into three different teams, cover the entrances, and in the next two days, anyone that gets within fifty feet of them will never kill them. Well, I would like to be brought up to speed <laughs> on all of these Chthonians or whatnot that you guys have been talking about. I think I'll go with um, Wentworth to go read the book. Truly, madam, you do not. Uh, yes, I do. So I can understand what I'm feeling. Ignorance with. is bliss. I, I, I don't I think so in this case. You also, Did you see me under concerned. the couch? She's very, very angry about being under the couch. Well, I, if I had the choice to go back, I would. Go under the couch? No, the couch isn't far enough back. I mean, back to when Weld called me. If I knew then what I know now, I might still be in America waiting. Blissfully unaware for the end of the world. Hmm. Just saying. I'm still going with one. I don't really think staking out the three temples and shooting anyone that comes too close is really viable. For real. Even, I mean, if the, the, the Sphinx at least is a tourist attraction, so. Well, specifically the entrance. But the night of, if we are approached by 50... Sure, night of, but then there's two of us against Colin and the cultists. And so yes, I agree that perhaps making our way to the central chamber and disrupting things there would be the better option as far as that goes. But we could also storm the Clive camp and attempt to assassinate the gentleman. Well, or, or perhaps we could take those three entrances um, in foxhole fashion, hold them, waiting for Dr. Clark. Didn't you say to a couple different people? You mentioned that it has to be done under the pyramid? Oh, no. Uh, the former high priest did. So it has to be done there in the pyramid. That's my understanding. Let's blow the pyramid up. Problem I don't solved. think we can have access that much. The entrances, at the very least, that would forestall the ritual for another month while they dug it out. Yeah. I thought um, you said it could have. He said that. Oh, I will move. Sorry. 
I would have given you a basic rundown. Oh, okay. About it. Um, I thought he said that it would have been uh, one of several people that would be able to finish this. It's possible. Yeah, I said we take their location, we take their problem. There are alkalites um, of the. Of they the, can find another location, can they? I don't know. I believe it is a place of power. Ah. The ritual must be performed there. Although the idea of collapsing the pyramid into whatever's below it is promising. I don't see how we're, we are going to get our hands on that much. Uh, I might be able to get us some. Well, no, enough well, dynamite to collapse be... an entire pyramid. We don't have to collapse the entire pyramid. If we disrupt where it's held at, it might be enough to. <coughs> That's the thing about a pyramid. Oh, just it's held it. throughout the whole structure. That's um, how pressure and geometry works. No, no, no. This I mean the mean. location. Like, he has to go to a certain location. If there's rocks on that location, he can't get that location. So again, you're talking about taking dynamite into a pyramid. The, the central location. No. Um, this is the player asking the GM something. Yeah, go ahead. Keeper, go ahead. Keeper. Um, being a captain in the royal military, um, this is going to sound real ugly and I don't necessarily want to ruin it. So, um, with our, there are obviously in Egypt, there's a British military presence. Mm -hmm. There would be artillery. Mm -hmm. Um, what are the chances of commandeering a unit or two, not a battalion or two, just a unit or two of artillery camping it out? Oh, Two clicks from the pyramid and just pop, 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 pop until the pyramid is. I mean, I understand we're destroying one of the national monuments of a uh, sovereign, somewhat sovereign nation. Well, but you hit it with enough artillery, it's going to go down. We did say you heard him say that there's three different entrances. Mm -hmm. So it's likely that where that the the chamber that you're looking for is not underneath any of them. It's just under the sand. It's also likely that they're down far enough that the sand isn't going to crush them. So it's under sandstone, which is pretty freaking resilient. Okay. Yeah, because I was like, if we just cave in the pyramid. Yeah, sandstone. So setting setting that aside, oh. looking at firing at stealing artillery because you're not going to have command uh, authorization, which means you're going to have to convince guys to move artillery, which requires more than just a couple of people. Sure. And then not get caught. Then that's very unlikely because okay. you'd have to do it middle of the night. Right. Then drag it through the sand because this isn't like there's no roads here. I mean, right. and even the roads are going to be rough. Once you got it out there, you get about two rounds off before you're going to get caught. And and then potentially shot to death because you're stealing Her Majesty's or His Majesty's <laughs> royal artillery. Right. But again, right. The, so. the, the point is there's a pyramid, there's a sphinx, and there's another place. And they all access the same point. Which may or may not be directly under the pyramid. Probably so. not, since right. you're not going to walk... There, you could just walk. So, there. if this helps, this might help a little bit. There are there are entrances here, 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 and there's another one for some reason that's on the map that I'm. Oh, and here, it's somewhere in this area in the middle. Of okay, it. so it's not like well, it's the basement of the pyramids. No, 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 no. It's okay, it's right, it's okay. kind of in the area between yeah. the groups. Oh, so it's, then that's not. Gonna it's a really what rough is the scale call. on that map. Uh, 200 yards is about yay big. Right. I mean, that's about, that's I mean, 200 yards is what I'm So you're looking at that's, uh, maybe six or, yeah, maybe six football fields between the, the pyramid of Kafra Kaf and this great sphinx across like this. And then maybe 10, not, 10 yeah, 10 from the great pyramid down to the pyramid of Menkaurua. Okay. All right. So back to this one at the end of this installing them. I mean, we'll only put it off for one month, but we can deal with them later. We are Man. dealing with something larger than this. We're dealing, dealing with today. a countdown, though, aren't we? Yeah, yeah they, they said if we can't do it in these two days, they'll do it. In the no, I mean the greater overall countdown. Yeah, we, we have a... Like I'm can, saying, we have can a, we afford a month plus? That's what I'm saying. We have a bigger fish to fry than this particular situation. If we install this for a month, take care of that. Well, then then we can isn't, take care of isn't this, thing. like, one of... I know, I know ending things here is not going to end. Um... Nidicris is was not part of the prophecy that you saw at it all. It wasn't? No. The, that there was a child to be born at the mountain. That's what you know. This is just a thing that might be bad, too. Uh, now we've got to kill and, but, all the children? But still, but still tied in. 
So it's it's a rough call. You also, Jason, for the record, have mm-hmm. ten months, just oh, okay. give or take. So I mean, that, if that helps you with your timeline. So then, yeah. then well, to clarify, it's not if we oh we're going to do this in two days, and if not, we'll do it in a month. So we stall it in two days, and then we stall it next month, and if we stall it for eleven months, yeah, it's mm-hmm. safe. These are not like connected like that, right? Did as we get far that as you can tell, there's no connection. However, yeah. Nidicris was important to the Dark Pharaoh. She might be important to the child being born, but you have no knowledge that would lead you to believe that other than bad crap is going on here, and this is the kind of the center of it right now. Are there any mountains or symbolism of mountains in this area? No, the closest you guys could figure was Kenya. Oh, yeah. So, again, I my vote is if we're going to do anything about this, we either kill Clive or smuggle dynamite into the trap laden Entrances. Entrance. Well, I was going to say all the way to the center room. Jeez. So again, my vote is killed on the clock. Oh, absolutely. He's dying. <laughs> that's we're, that's we're, my he's, vote. He's step one. The and question then, is, Dr. Clyde is surrounded by 50, 100, 200 workers. Right. That's a How do shame. we do that? And then who's to say somebody else is not going to take his oh, place? Somebody else will eventually take his place. But no, the question is immediately. Right, you know, he's the only guy. Well, we have no idea. Yes, yeah. we could kill him, walk away, and then the next day it could happen. The our our information said that there will be people who could eventually figure it out. Although Doctor Clive is an unknown, he may already know how to do it. We know we killed the high priest, the other high priest from England. So odds are, the only person left in the area that anyone is aware of is Doctor Clive, and they were acting. It was two different camps with the same, towards the same goal. So, again, just a theory. Dr. Clive is the head of this, of the cult right now. Taking him out eliminates, or is the best chance of eliminating someone who can summon this monster. If we do that, then, you know, then that's the best we can do for now because we have more pressing matters. So we could skip killing Dr. Clive and just let whatever is going to happen, happen. Attempt to kill Dr. Clive and potentially postpone this a month or more, and then move on. Is, is this an in-character conversation? Yes. Yeah. 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 Um, so, uh, not being familiar enough, Mr. Cooper, is there an, uh, a CD underbelly that could perhaps be uh, employed to eliminate Dr. Clive for us? Would there? Can we put oh, a head out on Dr. Clyde? What was the question? Would there be a way to put a head out on Dr. Clyde that I would Is know there about? a seedy underbelly that... Yeah, sh- you could do that. Um, and they would work fast enough? For potentially. You could also do it wrong and get stabbed. I mean, it's not like you're known well in those circles. That's not a circle you've ever gone through. So. <clears throat> what about your idea of earlier poisoning the whole camp? That will kill everybody. And no one will be able to take his place right away. I've seen wizards do weird things. He might not drink anything anymore. Jason, the two Uh, sticks that you got off of uh, mm -hmm. Omar, are they better than the ones I have? They're no longer there. You have a pocket full of sand. Great. Mm -hmm. That's fantastic. So, you guys are kind of at a loss of what to do, it sounds like. Well, I'm going to put a hand um, out on life. <laughs> I think there, it's more of an impasse than a loss. There's yeah. several things that we could do. My question being, how do we assault a camp? How do we infiltrate a camp where we don't look like anyone who is there to get it's, close enough to Clive? Because I don't think he's leaving the camp. I mean, is the risk worth it even? I mean, I know this is a great evil we'd be unleashing here, but if we die, there is nothing left to stop. The world from me. We are the only ones who know what we know. Is Egypt worth the world? Well, if we attack the camp, you're not coming with us. No. You can tell. Is the world. Egypt <laughs> part of the bigger plan? You can go believe me. So you have a way with words. You also have all the. You have a list that you can give you. True. 
<laughs> if you guys leave me any evidence, also I could bring it to other people who might be able to. All right. So, oh. final votes. Who's in for assault in the camp? We. I would I need to hear a further plan before. I think we should sleep on it and make a decision in the morning. But is there a plan beyond we run in guns blazing? Oh, I'm, well, we can, I mean, we can totally that. work on that. I'm That's just, what we should discuss. I have so no problem with your doing vote it. is doing it, not leaving it for now. Oh. That's, I asked for do it or not. That's all I'm saying. Do uh, it. I'm going to have to be able to do it. Well, and I like the idea of if there is a camp where Don, the, the Mr. Clyde is stationed that seems to be rather large in its manpower. If it's like the former imposter of Mr. Gavigan and there's two eight guards. Same, same place. Yeah, it the exact same place. It was the exact same place? That is where he was. Oh, well, we already know where their water is. We poisoned that the night before. We let them all drink their fill and as many die off as, as so they want. So for the kid? Then, for this, uh, oh, take them out. Doctor, are you okay with this plan? Um, I was the one that suggested it. <laughs> Fair enough. All right, so we're all on the same page. I'm never okay with killing mass amounts of people, but you're, you're saying the torture. world depends on it. Right. So there was a moment of need. Um. Then I agree that a subterfuge would be the ideal course of action because I don't want to get, I don't want to get shot anymore. <laughs> You're so good at it. Oh, anyway, I punch werewolves. He gets shot. <laughs> sure. Um, so, can we acquire enough poison to take out the client? Oh, yeah. Hey. Oh, yeah. The doctor could. I mean, you, 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 <laughs> you, you put bleach in the water and do it the right way, and it's going to kill them. They'll okay. drink it without thinking about it. Conceivably, will we be able to poison people fast enough? That they'll they'll be, continue to drink. If if they drink it at the rate that they sweat it out, yes, absolutely. Okay. I, Th that's the thing. It's I'm going to go. Logic. It's going to fly through their body sure. because of the, if the, just like they tell shoulders and they go hydrate. So <laughs> I would go. Um, if this is is this what we're going to do? One more question. My concern is that they like pass out the water. They go around the camp and pass out the water. If they give it to quadrant A first. By the time they get quadrant B, no. are they going to know quadrant A is poison? I will find the appropriate poison. Okay. She can so that. Yeah. we so, can get everybody so, in relative quickness. So here we go. Montage. So the doctor's going to go in there. I, I need six gallons of liquid rat poison. <laughs> I have a bit of a problem. <laughs> there's, there's a gator in the house. I don't know. Uh, okay, so uh, you guys gather everything you need. You guys work through everything. You sneak out there. You place the water. Everything works fine. Oh, People crazy. die. Those that don't die get sick. Dr. Clive doesn't die, but he is clearly sick enough to be brought to the hospital where you see him. Uh, so the other members of his as soon as he entourage. Hold on. Let me tell you about the rest of his entourage. Oh, okay. oh, I'm going to finish. Yeah. I'm going to let you finish. Bye. <laughs> Did you Dr. Clive, he's got the best <laughs> bodyguards. Um, Dr. Clive is sick, but Martin Win Winfield and Agatha Broadmoor have died. Uh, James Gardner oh. is sick as well, but Johannes Spreck is missing. Johannes Spreck? Spreck. Do we know anything about this Johannes Spreck? Uh, he is an archaeologist. Terrible human. Um, he can. <laughs> he is known for his formidable, and you would you would know this, professor. He's known for his formidable ability to sight read hieroglyphics, and uncanny and un uncannily good with codes and ciphers of many kinds. Oh, great. He was employed by the German army during World War One for this very reason. Nice. Um. He's also an occultist of some repute. You would know this, doctor. Mm -hmm. Um, who seeks to. Um, seeks magical artifacts so that he can res rescue his beloved Germany from its present agony. He sounds like Don't somebody say. Hitler would love 20 yeah. years now. His occult <laughs> studies indicate that a champion of Der Volk oh soon will arise, but he is, uh, but so on and so forth. Why did it have to be proto Nazis? <laughs> What's Der Volk? 
The, the people. people. The people. The folk. Uh, As in, I'm Volk, I'm Führer, I'm Reich. Like Volk's Wagen. Yeah. The people's, the people's car. Are you serious? That's yeah. Really what it, means. Yeah. it was created by Hitler. Yeah, it was created by the Volkswagen was was a car for the people. I don't want to drive one anymore. Uh, so do you drive one? No. I do. I do. I do. Scott does. I do. I love my Volkswagen. Okay, so uh, it's clear that this month is not going to happen unless Spreck can do it, and it's likely that he can't. He just didn't have the gumption to cancel. Why, if he has all that talent? Because it's not talent; it's interest. But an occultist does not Cthulhu worship or make. <laughs> or the guy at the end of the table. Which would be the professor. Which yeah. would be the professor. Would be uh, number Actually, four, in, in all fairness, we would have lost more than half of the party. Occultist. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Made you a Cthulhu worshiper. Yeah. yeah, so odds are he was being used or was, was a low man him, on yeah. the totem pole mm-hmm. as far as this cult was concerned. But. Left to his own, left, uh, left to his own devices, he may stumble right, upon. So, his, uh, his so that him. all takes the rest, the better part of the day and into the, the later, later evening. You guys rest that night. The night that the ritual would happen? No, the night before. Oh. But I, by sick, I mean, yeah. Dr. Clive is like lucky if he'll walk next week, kind of sick. Like he is, it's really eating him up inside. She did not put nice things in this. I asked if the doctor could add a little bit extra morphine to his, uh, yeah, to keep him completely his... out. No. No, 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 no. <laughs> that much. Finish the job. No, you said a little no. extra. A little extra so that, you know, breathing becomes a difficult, difficult, difficult and then a little more difficult. And then she could well, probably just put something in there to make it look like he had a heart attack. Well, that would be cool. Yeah, like an air bubble. What, uh, <laughs> what was, what were you going to do to him the minute he arrived? Oh, I was going to call you guys and let him let you know that he's here. That's why oh. I disseminated that information to the whole party. Oh, okay. So yeah. I assume that information was given out, but okay. that, but yeah. he arrives like lately. Yeah. And and out of character, in character, I would say that we should not all rush in there at once. <laughs> Let's discuss our <laughs> options first before we get connected with this guy. But he we'll he, he will probably be kept under sedation at least until the morning. Mm-hmm. So, doctor. Um. Yes. The the handgun that I just gave you. Yes. If you place a pillow over his face before you fire it and you bury Are it you in the pillow. Are you saying this out loud in the middle of the hospital? No, he's probably on the phone. <laughs> There's an operator. No, no, they don't listen in usually. Mm-hmm. No. Uh, okay. They don't keep listening in. They're too busy answering calls and redirecting phones. We you place the pillow on his face and put the gun in the pillow before you fire, we'll muffle the sound. Uh, oh. It's not a good information. <laughs> now that we know he's there. Mm. So I'll take that under consideration. So Thank you. the evening comes, you guys get ready, take sleep for the night. The the Dr. Clive is out of the question for right now. Now I'm not saying you can't kill him in the morning, I'm saying right now, not in danger. Let's go on to the next day. But at night she could give him an easier nobody knows. Is there enough time to make some ammo? Yeah, as you as you're sitting down to make ammo, it's a little late, but you don't have anything pressing in the morning. You hear a knock at the door, Captain. Everyone else is asleep. Buckshot. Okay. Just gonna open the chamber, slide one in. Who is it? It's me. Who's me? The professor. Are you alone? Yes. Oh, fire. Open the door. Uh, I'm, I'm just, just gonna shoot through the door. It's like, I'm dressed like I'm going somewhere. I need to be me. Where are you? To the desert. Why are we <laughs> headed to the desert? Because we need to know what's going on. Because it's time for you to join the cult. For the but, but, but we, we know what's going on, do we not? No. I'm not sure I follow you. Uh, when you placed the mask on my face, the yeah. being I spoke to was the counterpart, the opposite of Narlopote. Nar- 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 okay. And he informed me that when we got to this point, I was supposed to reach out to him. Reach out to him how? To go into the desert and contact him. We are having this conversation so I don't get shot in the face by the entire crowd. As opposed to just getting shot in the face by me. Well, you put the mask on. Well, you, I did. You know I didn't go crazy when you put it on me. Fair enough. <sighs> Let me gather my things. So you two head out by yourself? 
Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, Johnny, I asked them too, yeah. and they said yes. <laughs> like, from there. I assume you just head out to the nearest patch of nothing. Uh, yeah, like not super far out of town. Like, do I need to be within eyesight of the bent pyramid? No. Okay. Great. Uh, so you go out there. Are you going to put the mask on while yes. you do this? Okay. So you, <laughs> so he picks up the mask and begins chanting and doing a ritual. He told you he was going to do this, so it's nothing. Okay. Wrong. He puts the mask on. His eyes widen, but he continues to chant. It doesn't take him over like it did. Like you've seen it do. So, no, you've not seen it do. Like you know it does. Right. <laughs> yeah. And he, no, no, he's seen it do it. And he finishes, and there's a light. But not from anywhere in specific. Like you're not casting a shadow, it's just light now. In the desert. Light lit from above? Nope, lit. it's not in any one direction. Ambient. It's just lit. Ambient. Okay. It's a little brighter than just ambient light. I mean, oh. it's it's like it's like daytime, but it was night clearly. Excellent. I and move before, behind. I move around behind him. Is he standing, kneeling? He's, <laughs> kind of, he's standing. Are you? Uh, you have a gun? Oh yeah. Trained yeah. on him? Oh yeah. Oh, Buckshot or slug? Uh, slug. <laughs> okay. Just want to make sure we have this this information. Uh, and appearing before him is this large man. Uh, same Viking description that I gave you guys last time. Okay. And chariot he, with goats. No chariot, just him. Okay. Who summons? I, I will bow and read. Uh, I am Professor Wentworth, and I stand in the desert as a bent pyramid the night before the full moon. Ah, you need this. And he reaches down and pulls out a dagger and hands it to you, Phil, first. Okay, I'll take it. Place that in the mummy. And this will destroy her? Yes. Very well. And then, and then it's dark again. And the mask slides off your face. <laughs> poke! I poke no, him in the back no, of the head. I'll turn around and be like, you don't need to kill me. And you're probably still holding the dagger. Yeah, because it's in my hand. Like, so uh, it it doesn't okay. seem... It, All right, when there was a pause, I'm like, <laughs> poke, are you okay? Yeah. Are you... The, the the metal of the dagger, or the dagger is definitely metal, but it's all metal. It's one solid piece of metal. So the hilt and the handle, no wrapping or anything, nothing ornate, just one piece of metal. In the light you guys have, I assume you brought a, uh, a lantern. It looks silver blackish. And who knows what color it is? I, I pull out a piece of cloth. Wrap that. Yeah. Okay. And you place oh. it in your bag? And- uh, yeah, in my bag. As we head back toward the jeep, I'm going to flick his ear. I want to. I want to like pop. Do you jump? Do you yeah. rack? Is it <laughs> ow? Yeah, I rack like son of a. Okay, just checking. You guys get back into town. I'm sorry. You settle into bed. It's probably been an hour or so total with the drive and then chanting and you go to sleep. And as you wake up the next morning, everybody but Ian Byrne needs to make a sanity check. Yay! For mass murder. Yep. Yay! Uh, I wasn't there. Oh, good point. Everybody oh, but Vern no. and uh, Frank. But I'm just so used to it now. You, you, I'm so According proud. to your your <laughs> ability, oh, you right, don't uh, get affected by murder. Okay, You're fine. Even so lots of it. Did I lose two? It did. Did everyone succeed? No. Succeeded. If you succeeded, you lose nothing, but you feel terrible about what you've done. If you failed, you lose one. Oh. But these are a lot of people, and it's a terrible thing you just did. Yep, They're all absolutely. Cultists. You know, I feel horrible about that. You're cultists of Nodens now. Who do we kill <laughs> next? What? <laughs> cultists of Nodden? I would I'm, an, I'm an unaware of cultists of Nodden. Oh, I'm man. going to go to my tea party. Your tea party? Okay. Um, so you guys, I assume, do you meet them for breakfast? Yes. Do you two do you two attend breakfast? Yeah, Captain and, and oh, Professor. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yes, yes. No, the the tea, the tea party, party would probably be in the early afternoon. Oh, okay. um, By the way, this game is making me feel horrible. Go good. ahead. <laughs> uh, and will you be joining me, Mr. Cooper? Um, am I able to leave and still be under the care? Of yeah, I mean you're kind of on an outpatient kind of care. Oh, yeah, I think it's something you're. I'm around here. So and you also you all meet for breakfast. No, you're not seeing me. Yes. I'm not seeing you. No, I am not allowing that. We're not taking care of my. Nope. Okay. So. Alright, I will administer <laughs> to your medical needs. Yep, thank you. Do you want to feel worse? Your child born at the base of the mountain? 
You have to kill the pregnant mothers so the children yeah. are born. Yeah, I thought about that when I said we had to kill all the children, and then yeah. I went, oh no, wait, no, those yeah. are the mothers that all right, are here. So we kill all the them. next morning, yeah. you have a sick Dr. Clive. Are you going to have him killed? I would argue boy, in favor of it. Boy, can you go to the hospital and shoot the man in room 271? <laughs> oh no. We can't say that. We can't say that. We'll have to do it ourselves. Dr. Whittington, can you take care of this problem discreetly? <laughs> What's a struggle with my conscious role? <laughs> Mm, there is one you need to make that decision. <laughs> well, I just like poisoned the whole village of people, so I guess I'm gonna. <sighs> the actions of this man to get this one, and you missed him. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> this man is the one who's the deaths of all those people are in his head. So He's the one who forced our hand by doing what he did, by trying to summon what he is trying to summon. He's the one that started all of this emotion. So he should die. Yeah, and I kind of get up from the table and not finish my breakfast. So you head back and you discreetly. Hey guys, uh, you you head back and discreetly. Administer a heart attack. Yes. Um, so Doctor, go ahead and roll sanity for that again. Sure. Sanity again. Um, there's a bottle of ice alcohol on the desk in the office. <laughs> Courtesy of Burn. Courtesy of Mr. Burn. If I had all of my sanity points, I would have got that. I missed about one. Oh, so you lose one. <laughs> so, um, what is what is the plan now? Uh, well, at breakfast, I'm just going to inform the party that we absolutely have to go out there. Doctor Whittington has excused herself after. Any, uh, acknowledging that she's going to kill Dr. Clyde. Do you wait for her to come back or wait for a different meal? Uh, I'm going to assume I'm fairly motivated to get this done. So okay. Bring it up. Okay. Um, we need to go out to the pyramid and deal with the mummy. The mummy? Yes. What mummy? The one end of the... Uh... So we are going down into the Thing, well, stopping us we absolutely from ever happening. We absolutely are. We have some evidence or some some way to do this. Uh, New I information. Pull the dagger out and unwrap it. What's it look like in the sunlight? <laughs> uh, it is a metal, but it is um, like an inky black metal. Um, no. No, uh, no one needs to roll a cult, but if you have a cult train, it is clearly it magically. It's like hematite, but it's very much stronger than hematite. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's as strong as steel. Um, it's as, it's as strong as steel, but icky and black and not, not at all pretty. So, um, yeah, that's the description. And it's not individual pieces, it's, it's almost like it was formed instead of like uh, forged. So yes, uh, she must be stuck through the heart of this bag. Is this the final solution to this problem? Yes, you're telling me. Yes. Oh, and now that the entire camp is poisoned. There should be very little resistance. That's well, probably and it, true. And it, and it could <laughs> turn out. Now we're having this conversation before the doctor returns. Yeah. Well, and it could turn out, if she is in fact pierced with this dagger, that we don't need to kill Dr. Clyde. No, no, we do. <laughs> She's already left. Dr. Whittington has already left the table. Yeah. She's gone. I'm just bringing it up sort of no. conversationally. No, for, his, for his crimes, he deserves. Yeah. Did know. Gavigan deserve what he got? Of course he did. And Have you seen Clive, his friends? Then Clyde deserves what he did. And he's getting. Shirley has not <laughs> Of course he does. So your next step is the pyramid? Yes. That'll do us tonight for Nurse Domain Presents Masks of Nyarlathotep. Uh, you can find us on Facebook and Twitter, and you can find us at well, our shirts at slashloot.com, and we will talk to you guys real soon.
This has been a production of the Omega Nerds Network, the network where it's on.